So hello friends, today Devansh with us. He is currently doing uh, B.Tech from IIT BHU from Department of Pharmaceutical Engineering. So today we will know what is the minor degree in IIT BHU. So hello Devansh. So hello sir. Yeah. So Devansh, my first question is, what is this minor degree program in IIT BHU? Okay, minor degree is uh, a program in which you get to study a course from different. Uh, uh, and other branch like if you are a bachelor in uh, pharmaceutical engineering you have the option to get a course from computer science or mathematics and computing or any other branch that's in IIT BHU. Okay so I have seen that uh, uh, many students from like biochemical or pharmaceutical they always want to have a computer science in their first year they want to change their branch in first year. So yes sir. Uh, anyone from pharmaceutical engineering or biochemical engineering, they can get uh, this branch through the minor degree program? Uh, yes, the minor degree is allotted completely on the basis of CPI and uh, anyone from any branch can get uh, a minor in CAC if they are fulfilling the CPI criteria. Okay, and how many students uh, they allow to shift? Uh, yes, there's a restriction that in every branch, maximum 10 students can opt for minor degree. For example, in CSE, only top 10 students who have applied for the minor course will be getting CSE, and then 10 students in mathematics and computing, and then for every branch, 10 students in the capacity. Okay, so like uh, in uh, if there is a 40 student in pharmaceutical engineering, 40 students yes. take minor degree, but the criteria is uh, first top 10 from all the branches, yes. they yes, can stop. From all the applicants. Okay, top applicant, top ten applicant, they can move to computer science. Have you tried to get minor degree program? Uh, yes, I had applied for minor degree, but uh, I I was allotted a course in mathematics and computing. I didn't get into computer science. Uh, so I think mathematics and computers is also a, a good branch in IIT. Yeah. What was your CPI that you got selected for this? Uh, when I was selecting the course, my CPI was 9.32. 9.32. And uh, I can guess that uh, for computer science, 9.5. Uh, yes, around 9.5 or more than that. And you are still currently doing your minor degree or you dropped this? Uh, I have dropped my minor degree because I was not able to manage. I already have my stream project too. So I could continue only one of, the, okay. one of them. So, what was the reason? That because the course which was I was allotted in math MNC was a bit theoretical and uh, I, I didn't like that. And again, that was not beneficial for my further career. I want to go in research and that won't add any value to my profile. So, that's why I chose to drop it. So, you don't have any freedom to select a course? No. There are around uh, 10, uh, 12 different courses. Uh, uh, for for example, in CAC, the course is discrete mathematics. In MNC, there are two different choices. In MNC, uh, you can opt for two different streams. One is linear algebra, uh, mm -hmm. that is applied mathematics. Another is differential equations, that are the two different streams for mathematics. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And every other branch has one course. Like for electronics, it's signals and systems. For electrical, it's electrical circuits and systems. Okay. And similarly, for every branch, there's one course. And the credits are mostly 9 or 11. That depends on the course. The degree uh, choice is given at the uh, start of fifth semester, uh, where, during the registrations of fifth semester. That, again, that I was allotted the linear algebra course in mathematics and computing. That course was with third year MNC. Okay. I was taking that course with third year. So they already had done the prerequisites of course in first and second year. But that was completely new for me. Okay. So you have to compete with them without prior knowledge. So that's oh. that would add to the burden. Yeah. So it's like, uh, you see, um, first year student ko suddenly fourth year ka course de dena. Ye jo minor degree course hai, isko lene ka koi benefit hai ya nahi hai? Okay. So pros and cons. Pros uh, are like if you uh, want to go in research, like there's one girl who has, she's from biochemical engineering. And she has taken minor in pharmaceutical engineering. 
Okay. So uh, the reason she gave was because she want to go uh, want to opt for a research career in biomed and pharma industry. Okay. So that would definitely add to her career. But okay. most of the students who are opting for minor are just for opting CAC and MNC that that it might help out in the placements. Okay. So currently, this was this year was the first batch who is graduating or who sat in placement with a minor degree. And this year, there's a there was no significant uh, difference between one who opted for a minor degree in CAC or the other who didn't have any minor course. Okay. So you want to say that the person who opted uh, computer science and engineering, yes. that person didn't get any benefit. Right. Yes, the person opted for minor in CAC didn't get any uh, significant benefit from from that course. Okay. So because ultimately, all student in uh, IIT they are looking for placements. So the thing is, IIT is like IIT Delhi. Minor degree adds to the placement. Minor degree is important for their placements. But in our college, it's this was the first batch. Maybe it will get in, improved in the further uh, years. Okay, so you want to say that in future it can help, but uh, yes, not in current situation. Okay, I did student. There is one benefit that if you take, for example, you are a bachelor's in pharmaceutical engineering and you take uh, a minor in mathematics and computing. So you have the option to change in uh, in the fifth year. You can opt for masters in mathematics and computing directly instead of continuing in pharmaceutical. So you will have the degree of bachelor's in pharmaceutical engineering with master's in mathematics and computing. Okay, uh, this is good for actually I think uh, for IDD this is a great thing. Yes, because uh, everybody I know that they look for computer science and they try so yes. much hard in their first year. So if somebody is getting in their fifth year IDD, so that is a good for IDD persons. This is a. Just, the thing is, you have to continue four semesters with a minor, extra minor course, and if you can continue with that, you definitely have this benefit. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, the eligibility points uh, that the student. The thing is, there should be no F or Z in the first four semesters. Okay. And all the credits in the first four semesters should be completed. Like there should be no backlog. If there is any backlog, you cannot opt for minor degree. Okay, nice. And the second point is minimum CPI of eight. Okay. Uh, the minor degree choice is given uh, at the start of fifth semester during the registrations. Uh, that means in mid of July. Okay. And uh, a Google form will be circulated by the DOA, and okay. anybody can fill that Google form and uh, will be allotted on, strictly on the basis of CPI. If there is a clash of CPI. Then the CPI after third semester will be considered as a breakout. Okay, so these are three important points. Person shouldn't have a F or Z. Person must have more okay. than eight. And if CPI clashes, then third semester CPI matters. Uh, and one more point that you can drop the minor course at any point. Like if you uh, if you are not able to deal with the course, you can just submit an application to DOA and uh, your minor course will be uh, dropped at that moment. Okay, okay. And regarding CPI, uh, the minor CPI is completely different from the CPI of like uh, uh, when the results uh, come, the, this there will be a separate section in your uh, report card or the result card uh, for the minor course that does not add up to the CPI. Okay. Uh, either be a C grade or a A grade that will not be added to the CPI. The minor CPI will be completely different for every semester. Okay, because sometimes a student says that uh, if they get failed or get C minus, does this grade will reflect on my mark sheet? No. Uh, yes, that will be written in the mark sheet. But that won't be added to the CPI. Like if you had a CPI of 9.5, that would not be affected by the C grade of minor course. The minor CPI will be completely different. That would, like again, that would be 7 if the grade is C. If somebody drop, if somebody drop uh, from this minor, still okay. minus will reflect on mark sheet or they will remove. Uh, I am not clear about that because 
again that this year was the first batch and we have to look for that if that is being reflected or not okay okay so this was the nice information from your side again if i have something missed you can tell us our viewers uh, no sir i guess everything is covered okay. i'll be sharing the course pdf and okay. that would be beneficial okay so thank you jo devansh thanks for this information